After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, Canadians simply can't afford this Prime Minister. 20% of Canadian families are skipping meals, half of Canadians are living paycheck to paycheck, and credit debt is at an all-time high, with the average non-mortgage debt being $21,000 per consumer. So will this Prime Minister show some compassion for Canadian families and cancel the costly carbon tax? The Honourable Minister. First opportunity to rise as the Minister for Families, Children and Social Development. I'd like to thank the residents of Canada Carleton for putting me in this house and the Prime Minister for his confidence. Mr. Speaker, we are building a nationwide system of childcare that is affordable, inclusive and high quality. This is literally putting hundreds of dollars back into the pockets of Canadian families. This is transformational, Mr. Speaker, and we will continue to work with the province and territories to make sure this happens. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Midnapur. And, Mr. Speaker, that minister is part of the problem. After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, Canadians simply can't afford this Prime Minister. Even the Governor of the Bank of Canada agrees that his costly tax on gas and groceries is increasing inflation. 20% of Canadian families are skipping meals, but this Prime Minister thinks nothing of spending $10,000 a month on groceries. So why doesn't he show some compassion for the Canadians who put food on his table? and axe the tax. The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, what's not, uh, not honest about that statement is that, of course, it's not acknowledging the money that is coming back to eight out of ten Canadians. But I would also say we're not talking about the costs of a climate that will not bear crops. We're not talking about uh, just take respiratory, respiratory illnesses. Do you know 15,000 people die a year as a res prematurely as a result of respiratory illnesses related to air pollution? Do we know that in the heat dome, that occurred in BC. We lost 619 lives. Do we know the cost on our health system and productivity is over $100 billion a year lost as a result of climate change? We need